Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you all available gestures and motions on the lock screen for Motorola Moto G Pure. And to do this we'll need to open the settings, scroll all the way down to find the system, here you can see the gestures and now let's check which of them work on the lock screen. First one being put the display to sleep and now if you double tap on the home screen or lock screen it should wake up or lock your phone. And here as you can see this feature doesn't work at all so let's skip it. Next one we have the swipe fingerprint for notifications. This may work on the lock screen but you need to wake it up first like that. Then use the fingerprint sensor to scroll down the notification with the motion like this and it doesn't work on a lock screen. Next up we have double press power key to either open assistant or camera. You can choose between these two options. So let's uh, try to double press the power key and see if it works. As you can see it works fine. Now let's move on to the next one which is system navigation that doesn't even uh, sits next to the lock screen so I'm gonna skip it. There's one handed mode and if you enable it you'll be able to put the notification bar on the middle of the screen so that you can use your phone in one hand but it doesn't work on the lock screen. Next one we have the prevent ringing and if you go there you can either put your phone on vibrate or mute by pressing volume up and uh, power key together at the same time. Let's see if we can, wait actually we need to unmute our phone first and let's see if it works on lock screen. So power key and volume up key at the same time and as you can see we just changed to the uh, silence mode. Next up I'll tell attentive display. So if you enable it and you keep looking at your screen or a camera, because I think the camera needs to detect your face, then your phone will never lock. So that doesn't work on the lock screen. Pick up to silence. Now if you get uh, the, the phone call and pick up your phone, the call should be muted. Next, and it works on the lock screen obviously, next one is flip for uh, flip for do not disturb mode. So if you put your phone upside down, it should enter do not disturb mode and I can confirm that this works for the lock screen. But it depends on do not disturb mode on your device. Media control, you can control the media players on this device with the volume down keys and uh, this works on your lock screen. Three fingers a screenshot. This is quite useless for the lock screen, but we're gonna check if it works. So let's wake up the phone and try to use our three fingers to take the screenshot. As you can see, it doesn't work. Fast torch. Now, if you enable this feature, you'll be able to enable the turn on the flashlight or otherwise torch on your device by shaking it like handshake but uh, I tried it as well but it doesn't work I mean it's very hard to actually enable it and yeah I hate that feature so uh, you can of, of course you can try it if you like um, but, it'll, uh, but it should work on your lock screen by the way uh, swipe to split now this doesn't work on the lock screen as here you can s basically split your screen in half so you can get one up on the bottom and one up on the top but uh, the apps doesn't work don't work on the lock screen and this feature as well last we have lift to unlock and now if you enable it and pick up your device in a hand grip like that it should wake up the screen just like that and that's it for this video hope you like it please consider subscribing to our channel leave a like and a comment below